Reggie Jackson is a player that um, I get a lot of questions about, and the question that always comes up is, does Reggie use good weight transfer, or does he sit his weight back in his back foot? And all you have to do is look at a couple video clips um, that I pulled from my archives. This is back when he was uh, with Oakland, and I have one with the Angels. But here's a little, here's a little slow clip of Reggie and you can just see what happens here as he goes to his front side drives his weight from the back to the front and you can clearly see that back foot come up see how light he is back here he's got his weight up in his front side axis and he's rotating with incredible amount of force and energy most of Reggie Jackson pictures show him in this position right here and the assumption is that he hits from this position but here's the deal if he's not releasing the weight out of his backside, there's no way he's going to generate the amount of force that he did. Drives to the front side, rotates to the ball. Incredible rotational force around the ball, right through the heart of the ball. Here he is with Anaheim. Same thing. You're going to see weight transfer into the front side. Here it comes. Slow down. You're going to miss it. There it is. Ooh, 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 ooh. Right to the tip of his toe. And then the Reggie return is what I like to call it. All the way around. When he really cuts loose, he, uh, he there's pictures where he's actually sitting on the ground. So in reviewing Reggie and Reggie's swing, Reggie has really, really strong mechanics. He's, and it all starts with a solid weight transfer back to front. Rotates to the ball, contact, and continues to rotate through it all the way around. Cheers.